What is up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we have stage four of the 2020 Paris-Nice. You can see today it is the individual time trial. So we have 15 kilometers to cover, fairly hilly terrain as well with some very steep climbs throughout. You can see max of 8%, max of 9.9%. .9%, so it is quite steep in parts. And that does mean Maxi Shackman is the favorite. Yves Lampert, Askreen and Victor Campanats will have something to say about that though. Um, we've got Pierre Latour, who's probably our best time trialist in the team. But today we do want to try and hold on to the yellow jersey with Oliver Narsen. As you can see guys, Sherelle and Peters are already underway for their time trial. We're not going to focus on these guys though. We're going to focus on Bardet, Latour and Oliver Narsen. So we will see Sherelle across the line here. We may as well. Uh, where does the man go? He's just got 59 time trial, but we go second in the day so far. Nans Peters has some energy left. Where can we go? at the line he goes second just 21 seconds behind Michael Matthews so we're still early in the time trial here you can see it is Richie Port with the best time ahead of Kung Lawson Craddock Matthews in fourth we will see what Gujar can do here we do have some energy up into 85 90 99 across the line um, and it's a decent time into fifth position. So Romain Bardet gets his time trial underway. As you can see, it's a zero race day for the Frenchman. Not expecting any fireworks today from him, of course. Hopefully we can stay in the GC race though. Same with Pierre Latour. Shame he's on a minus one day uh, because he was our only real shot at the stage. Let's see how we are at the first split. So Romain Bardet coming towards the first split here. Let's try and push it to 279. Uh, it's Van Garderen with the best time at the moment at both the first and the final split. And Bardet is third place. Oh my word, that is much better than I expected. Uh, let's see if Latour can do that well. We do need to conserve some energy with Bardet, but we do have a big downhill coming up. So that should be fine. Where does Pierre Latour go at the first split? Um, and it's fourth place behind Bardet. That is pretty crazy. So 2k to go for Romain Bardet, uh, very, very good TT by him and Barguil. Usually the two Frenchmen absolutely terrible on the time trials. We do have a bit of excess energy to use right here with Bardet. Let's push it across the line. Where do we go? It's seventh place. We will take that for now. Obviously, some of the big GC guys are still to come, uh, but that's a very good start. You can see Cosnefar is on the road as well. We will see where Pierre Latour goes across the line. It's not going to be a good day for the Frenchman though. I think he's going to be, no, he does just beat Bardet. He's in sixth place at the moment. So here's the thing, guys. I do think time trials are slightly broken at the moment in PCM, especially the mountain and hilly time trials because, I mean, Campanets is no way. He's third. Uh, Kung is fourth. They should be dominating this time trial. Uh, but it's because I think the GC guys get too big a boost from their big hill stat. Um, I think it should be more focused on the TT stat. But anyhow, Cosnefra is struggling across the line. Let's see where the young Frenchman goes. It's not going to be a good time. We're down in 58th position. So we're underway with the man in the yellow jersey. The final man to go off the start ramp. And we have a 57 second lead on Sam Bennett and Julian Alaphilippe. This is the man we're trying to protect the yellow jersey from today. I would love to keep hold of it for another stage. You can see it is nibbly with the best time at the moment. Um, it'll be interesting to see where we are at the first split and if we have a genuine chance at holding on to this jersey with our 65 TT. So the first split it is Julian Alaphilippe fourth and 10 seconds down in the GC. It will be interesting to see where Nibley was. Um, he was one minute and one second down. So it looks like one minute and one second to Nibley is the time we need to protect against. As Oliver Narsen comes across the first time split, let's see where we are. We're 48 and 53 seconds down. Doesn't look like it's possible, I'm afraid, guys. So Julian Alaphilippe about to cross the line in his time trial. Can he challenge for the win? He goes fourth place, nine seconds down. Uh, we've got Sam Bennett to go. He won't challenge. And then, of course, it's Oliver Narsen doing his best to hold on to the yellow jersey. But I do think it will go to Vincenzo Nibli at the end of the stage. I think we're going to have to sit on 78 to the line with Narsen. 500 meters to go. We're going to run out across the line. Where do we go? One minute and 20 down. We haven't done enough. So Vincenzo Nibli wins the stage for Trek Segafredo ahead of TJ Van Garderen and Maxi Shackman. 
And you can see in the GC it is Vincenzo Nibali moving into the yellow jersey. So we did our best today, guys. Sadly, not enough, though. Uh, you can see Latour was our best rider in 17th place. Shame he didn't have a good day. Um, and you can see if we go down, Oliver Narsen 55th on the day, 1 minute and 21 down. We hold on to a top five place in the GC, but sadly we do lose the yellow jersey. So taking a closer look at the new GC, it is Nibali in yellow, of course. Shackman second, Alaphilippe third. Pino looking very good in fourth place. We've got Quintana here, 26 seconds down. Uh, Barde in 16th place, 40 seconds down. Latour as well, 37 seconds. I think we'll take this after the time trial. Um, if we're feeling really, really good in the mountains, we have a chance of a result with one of these guys. Stage five is up next then guys, and it is a very long one, 225 kilometers and more. And you can see it is a punchy stage, the hilliest stage of the race so far, I would say. Probably will be a punchy sprinter who wins it, likes of Sagan, uh, maybe Michael Matthews as well. Um, not really a GC day on paper. We will see how it plays out though on the road. And so if you enjoyed this one today, guys, do drop a like and a comment down below for me. That really helps the channel out. Subscribe to my channel as well if you are new and I'll see you guys in the next one.